The third point for today is that when the believers come together for this commemoration and this remembrance of Imam al-Hussein, there's two main aspects to these programs. There are many, but I'd like to highlight two. The first one is the lecture, and the second one is this emotional attachment, whether it is through the recitation of the Musiba or Marthia or Noha or Latmiya. Regarding the lecture, the people have certain expectations when it comes to the lectures that are giving lectures in Muharram. The believers, when they come to the Majalis, what do they want to see? What do the believers want to see when they come to, together to commemorate Imam Hussain? One is they want to see from the member teachings of Islam. They want to learn the true teachings of the Quran and the Ahlul Bayt. People are thirsty to know their religion. They're thirsty to come out from this darkness. Teach us how to get close to Allah. Teach us how to love Allah. Teach us how to be patient in the difficult moments that we're facing in our lives. Teach us how to build our families, how to ensure that our children are on the path. Teach us how to make sure that in our relationship we are strong. In our business, we're doing halal business. Teach us how to become faithful, how to have patience, how to have bravery, how to be true believers. This is what the people want to hear from the lectures. The topics that are selected in these lectures should be practical topics about Islam about the Qur'an, from the Qur'an and the Ahl Bayt, about the lives of the people. We want to hear how I can be a practicing Muslim, how I can go about living a life, a Muslim life. This is what I expect when I come to the Majalis. For this, it is necessary that people who come and deliver these lectures should be knowledgeable, should know Islam inside out, should have gone and spend years studying about Islam, studying the Quran, studying the Sunnah of the Prophet, being qualified in what they say. We don't come here in Muharram to listen to people's opinions about what they think about Islam and about the community. We're not here to hear from unqualified people about their advice of what they think we should be doing. People, when they come to the Majalis, they want qualified people to tell us from the Quran, from the Sunnah, about the lofty teachings of Islam. And secondly, we expect as people who come to listen to this majalis, to hear it from people who themselves practice Islam. Believers and non-believers, every human being knows that double standard is not a good thing. Asking people to do something, I will tell you about the hereafter. I will tell you about how to become a true Husseini. But then if I myself don't practice it, if I myself in my personal life, you don't see me in my public life, you don't see me practicing, then you find this very disgustful, very hating, very ugly. In fact, the Quran said this is very disgusting. Allah hates this. It is hateful for Allah that you say that which you do not practice. And therefore, when I come to the Majalis, when the people come to the Majalis, they want to hear it from people who themselves walk the path. If you are telling me how to be a Husseini, we don't separate your words and your actions. We're not like the Murjits. We don't like the teachings of, of Banu Umayyah. When you tell us something, we also want you and expect you to also behave in the same way.